All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, Responsive Web Design, Learn CSS Flexbox by Building a Photo Gallery, Step 24. All right. So the alt image attribute should describe the image content, all right? Uh, screen readers announce the alternative text in place of images. If the image can't be loaded, this text is presented in place of the image. Oh, by the way, we're on the uh, HTML thing now. We've uh, already finished the CSS stuff, all right? Uh, so to complete the project, we're gonna add an alt attribute to all nine of our cat images to describe them. We're gonna use a value of at least five characters long for each. All right. So it would be best practice for us to like say, you know, alt uh, and then equals, and then something like a sleeping kitty cat or something like that. But this is a this is a video, and we got a, we got time constraints here. So we're just gonna put a cat. That's five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's five to me. So let's take it from here to uh, right here, to adding the space as well. Take that like that. Let's throw down like this so we can see them all, and then drop one, two, nope, two, three, four, five six, seven, and eight of them. And so when we hover over them, well, whatever. <laughs> it's the, I guess we didn't make a tool tip. It's just the alt text. But anyway, so let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. So that's the end of Learn CSS, I mean, Learn CSS Flexbox by building a photo gallery. And now we're on to this one. And just to let you know, uh, after this one, when we, when we do the typography, it's going to go back to the uh, audio quality that I did a long time ago, just to let you know. So anyway, now we're on to learn typography by building a nutrition label, and we'll see you next time.